Are we alone in the universe? The expedition's unknown mystery takes a savage turn in season 12. Will the premiere of the new episode find something profoundly groundbreaking? What more is there for us to learn? The findings so far are already spine tingling, and I'm gonna tell you one thing before we start. Sit tight. In the heart of the scorched and mystical landscapes that cradle the Dead Sea, a treasure trove of ancient wisdom was uncovered. But what was it exactly? A collection of Jewish texts, Josh Gates, as we all know, he is a curious person. That's what drove him to dig beneath the surface. While investigating on the island, they found something strange. Wrapped in linen and hidden away for centuries, the Dead Sea Scrolls emerged as a literary time capsule, containing fragments of nearly every book in the Old Testament that have been written between the 2nd century BCE and the 1st century CE. Let me make this easy for you. Imagine standing on the cliff of the most anticipated discovery. What mysteries did these texts hold? How did they survive the ravages of time hidden in the recesses of the Judean desert? The very nature of their preservation sparks questions that boom through the corridors of history. This extraordinary find not only shed light on the rich tapestry of ancient Jewish thought, but also ignited debates about the origins of Christianity. Just like you, I am wondering as well about. Who might be the authors of these scrolls and what motivated them to meticulously pen these sacred words? Were they the work of a single community or did multiple voices match in the halls of Qumran? That's just a mystery for now. Meanwhile, the disappearance of Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan over the Pacific Ocean left an indelible mark on history. Let's go back in time. 1937 an aviator just vanished during her attempted circumnavigation of the globe. If you ask me, that is somehow weird, because sailors tried their best but were left hanging blank. Keeping this event in mind, the team, led by Gates, embarked on an expedition that sought to locate Earhart's Lockheed Electra, the very same plane that had become synonymous with both her daring spirit and the unsolved mystery surrounding her last flight. However, the breakthrough arrived when the expedition team detected a sonar variance that bore all the hallmarks. As the crew narrowed in on the locations and got closer to cracking a mystery that had baffled the globe for over eight decades, their excitement was obvious. Was this the smoking gun that would finally unravel the mystery, or did it lead to even more questions about the circumstances surrounding her disappearance? On top of that, this discovery left viewers on the edge of their seats fascinated by the convergence of past and present in the relentless pursuit of the unknown. With this expedition, Josh Gates thought of finding the pinpoint location of the Ark of the Covenant. The quest for the Ark took viewers on a riveting exploration through ancient texts, sacred scriptures, and archaeological landscapes. But that's not all. From my research and as described in the Bible, it is a sacred container for the tablets bearing the Ten Commandments which is guided by both historical accounts and mythic tales. In the meantime, Gates ventured into remote corners of the world. The search was not just for a relic, but for a piece of history that could potentially reshape our understanding of the biblical past. This confronted questions in my mind. Is the Ark a tangible artifact awaiting discovery, or does its significance exceed the physical realm? And in my views, the hunt later developed into a symbolic voyage represented humanity's never-ending effort to understand the secrets of its history rather than just a quest for a lost treasure. You must have heard, curiosity never ends. This made Josh to investigate the most baffling and daring criminal mysteries in American history, the D.B. Cooper case, 1971, a riveting exploration of a man who hijacked a commercial airplane. Using the alias D.B. Cooper commandeered Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305, demanded $200,000 in ransom, and then executed a daring escape by parachuting out of the plane over the rugged terrain of the Pacific Northwest. Gates retraced the steps of this elusive figure, examining the clues left behind and questioning the theories that have emerged over the decades. The investigation took him to the heart of the mystery. Who was D.B. Cooper and what became of him after his dramatic mid-air escape? But sadly, the true identity and fate of this airborne outlaw remain shrouded in mystery. After this, Josh went on to solve the mystery regarding the Christian's most sacred relic, True Cross of Christ. It was believed by many to be the actual cross upon which Jesus Christ was crucified that has long been a subject of veneration and controversy. 
Venturing into the heart of Jerusalem and beyond, Gates encountered historical narratives and theological beliefs. The quest tangled the threads of biblical accounts with the folklore of emperors and saints, each claiming a connection to fragments of the true cross, whereas the historical and spiritual gravity of the relic became evident, prompting questions about its authenticity and the transformative power it holds for believers. Were these revered artifacts genuine pieces of the crucifixion cross, or did they serve as symbolic conduits for divine connection? However, Gates presented viewers with a complex tableau of faith. But the attempt went beyond simple archaeological research as Gates put the historical puzzle together and sorted through the layers of religious commitment. With his first experience in historical expedition, Josh wasn't done yet. He set sail into the realms of Viking legend to uncover the mystery of the Viking sunstone, a mythical crystal believed by some to have been used by Vikings for navigation. And with the time I invested into this research, this takes us into the Norse sagas and historical accounts that hinted at the existence of this enigmatic tool. That said to have allowed the Vikings to navigate even in overcast conditions by detecting the polarization of sunlight. At this point, the search for the sunstone became a fascinating blend of historical investigation and archeological exploration. But questions are looming in my mind. Did the Viking sunstone truly exist, or was it a product of myth and legend? How did this alleged crystal function, and what impact did it have on the success of Viking exploration and expansion? This showcased the use of technology to replicate the conditions under which the sunstone might have been employed, bringing a sense of tangible experimentation to the historical quest. While being on the expedition, the next stop was not ordinary. Josh Gates' quest to unravel the mystery surrounding the final resting place of one of history's most formidable figures. Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire, left an indelible mark on history. But, the location of his burial site has remained a closely guarded secret. Gates and his team traversed the remote and rugged terrain of Mongolia, encountering nomadic communities and archaeological sites. But this isn't it. Did Genghis Khan's tomb lie undiscovered beneath the windswept expanses of the Mongolian steppe, or had it submitted to the passage of time? Who knows? Well, until now Josh was after history. But, there onwards, he went on to discover something else. Extraterrestrial life. With a blend of scientific inquiry and a sense of adventure, Gates led viewers on an intergalactic journey, probing the skies for evidence of extraterrestrial activity and seeking to answer one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? After interviewing experts in the field of astronomy, astrophysics, the team grappled with the scientific challenges of detecting extraterrestrial life and the tantalizing possibilities that lie beyond our terrestrial horizons. Josh steered through iconic locations associated with alleged extraterrestrial incidents from the deserts of Roswell to the mysterious Area 51. Lastly, Josh Gates undertook a captivating journey deep into the jungles of Guatemala in search of the best, the lost city of El Mirador. And for the context, El Mirador, often referred to as the cradle of Mayan civilization, renowned for its colossal structures. And my point of view is that the search for El Mirador wasn't just a physical expedition. It was a historical detective story, piecing together the remnants of a once thriving civilization. Everyone, including me, elated into the heart of the Mayan world as Gates explored the massive structures as La Dante Pyramid. But what led to the decline and abandonment of El Mirador? And how did this ancient city influence subsequent Mayan civilizations? The narrative unfolded as a blend of adventure and a quest to understand the Mayan culture. Join Josh Gates along with his team as they traverse the unknown unlocking the tales of vanished civilizations and decoding the enigmas that have captivated humanity for centuries. As we gear up for a new season, the quest continues. Get ready for more high-stakes exploration, cutting-edge technology, and the relentless pursuit of answers. What mysteries will we unravel next? Follow the clues, join the adventure, and stay tuned for the upcoming season of Expedition Unknown as we dive into uncharted territories seeking the truth that lies hidden in the heart of the unknown. Don't miss out on the thrill. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe.